Hi, and welcome back to the Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System course. I'm Dan Bassett, and in this unit, we're going to be talking about joint power. Now, you may say, why devote an entire unit to joint power? Yes, advanced kinetics is an important topic, but our focus is really just going to be on power. Honestly, this has been a topic I've struggled with for years, where understanding what joint power really even is has been challenging. I mean, how, how do you even understand what power is? And fair warning, in the following chapters, we're going to go through some of the mathematics behind what joint power is, but we're going to do this to give you a full understanding. Because historically, in biomechanics, power has been treated in a confusing way, honestly. It's, we often have talked about power distributed in multiple directions, but that's not really what power is. I mean, if you think of it from a physics background, and most of us learned about power in physics, applied to joints, it seems confusing, especially because we might understand what sagittal power is, but what's, what's power in the frontal plane? What's power in the transverse plane? And what we're going to deal with in this unit is explaining, first of all, that there shouldn't be a differentiation, um, and where it comes from. And I have to absolutely acknowledge Richard Baker is the one who really wrote a great blog post on the matter that helped me understand even where my confusion was coming from. And apparently my confusion was rightfully placed in the biomechanics field because in biomechanics we have often misrepresented what power even is. That doesn't mean that the way we have interpreted it has been wrong, it's that we've been calling something power that's not actually power. So even in Visual 3D, we're going to deal with what is and is not power and what its significance is. So continue on throughout this unit as we go through the explanation of what power is, what it means, what joint power is, and how that applies to biomechanics, and even a little bit on how to understand what has been reported as joint power, but isn't really that. So, hope to see you in the rest of this unit as we discuss these things.